Hey there, Chad Boninger here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're looking to open a new business in a new location, you want to use data to better understand if your new, newly chosen location is the ideal place for your company in a particular industry. This video shows you how to use Simply Analytics, a data tool that will give you good comparison data as well as an ability to map data in order to better understand if your business concept is going to be viable or in a good idea in a particular location. So here you go. So when you first get to Simply Map, one thing I would definitely recommend you do is to create an account. Now you can sign in as a guest, but it won't save your work, so I would definitely encourage you to create an account. Uh, in this case, I'm going to sign in and create a new project, and it asks you to search for a location. So for my example, I want to look at uh, possibly opening up a golf or a running or a bicycle shop in Chattanooga, Tennessee, or Knoxville, Tennessee, or Memphis, Tennessee. So I'm going to search for those locations here and it will allow me to compare these locations in this new project. Now Simply Analytics, what it will do is actually it will throw in some initial data for you. And in this case it's going to load the map first. But I want to start actually by looking at a comparison report because I want to create a table comparing Chattanooga to Knoxville to Memphis in a variety of criteria that I, that I want to look for. So I'm going to search for golf. And what I want to do is try to find people who do golf, and there's various categories you can look at. I happen to know that under the entertainment and leisure, there is a section that gives you the Simmons data for uh, people who, or number of people who play golf every chance they get. And once we click on the variable, it's going to add it into our table there. We can also do the same similar search for running. And once again, it's under entertainment and leisure. And there, here we have a percent of people who run and jog every chance they get, or percent of people who participate in the sport, whatever kind of variable you're looking for there. If we get rid of the running scenario there, it's going to load all of the entertainment and leisure, and I want to search for bicycling or bicycle. So here we have a percent who do had done mountain biking or road biking within the last 12 months every chance they get. And once again, we close that out and we get our list of variables there in a nice table format. And you can do that for whatever kind of census data you want or, or anything like that. In this case, I'm adding USA to the report because I'm going to compare those cities to the national average, which is kind of nice. And you can also export the data as an Excel file, which is a useful, useful tool. Next, we're going to move on to the ranking scenario here. And right now it's looking at um, median household income in... Um, Chattanooga, Tennessee, if we want to add our other views, we have to click Edit View and then go in and choose our other data points there. You can select all if you want to. In this case, we're going to click Done, and it's going to load up all the various data points for our location. Now, right now, we're just looking in the city of Chattanooga, Tennessee. So let's say we want to look at uh, cities by in the state of Tennessee. So we have to add the state of Tennessee and then add the cities. So in this case, we are currently sorted by median household income. We can also go and sort by percentage of people who do golf or do uh, uh, jogging or mountain biking. In this case, we'll sort from largest to smallest by percentage of people in the population who uh, enjoy uh, that activity. So it's a way to identify potential markets for your potential store. Moving on to the map tab here. Currently, it's mapping median household income in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And what we can do is change this to state and look at uh, counties. And it's going to auto correct or auto correct the counties for us there. And if we do median household income, we can change this by like percentage of people who do mountain or road biking. This is a way to kind of visually identify uh, locations where you might want to place your business. We can modify the, uh, the color scheme of the map. And we're looking currently at, um, if we don't know where the counties are, we can click Show Map Labels, and that will give us an opportunity to, to, to see the, the visual location of where the counties are. It gets a little bit busy, but it kind of helps you if you're geographically challenged. You can also export the map if you wish. Uh, if you wish, and that will basically allow you to kind of customize a, a nice uh, table, a nice uh, picture of your map. Under the re the new view, I'm going to do related uh, data information, and this gives us the opportunity to to choose one of our data variables and have Simply Analytics find all related data for us. 
So this is a great way to, if you're looking for, you know, brainstorming for some ideas, it'll find additional information in there. For example, I would never have thought about, you know, who uses cardio machines, you know, golfers and, or, and probably not so much, but maybe runners and, 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 and bicyclists do. So going back to our map tab, currently we're looking at uh, the number, percentage of people in Chattanooga, Tennessee by census tracts. We could change this to zip codes, if you will, uh, who enjoy running or jogging every chance they get. I'm kind of messing around with the, with the map here to kind of see what looks better and what's going to give me a better representation of the city. Currently we're looking at national data, national quantile data. If we change it to the local quantile, you'll notice that the data points actually change a little bit. And you can kind of get a different picture based upon how the, the data is presented. All it's doing is changing the category ranges there in the, in the, in the legend. Uh, in this case, I actually prefer the, the local quantiles there. And what I'm going to do now is go and do a business search. And I'm going to search by NAICS code. That's the North American Industry Classification System for sporting goods stores in the area. So this is a way that we can kind of identify potential competitors already existing in the area by location of, of who enjoys jogging. In this case, we're going to click on one, and this place here happens to be a bike, a bike shop, and you get the address and that sort of stuff. You can also go over and, and click on businesses one more time and export uh, the list of businesses as an Excel file, so you have a list of potential competitors. In this case, 56 results for uh, competitors in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Hope this video has helped you and it showed you the basics of how to use Simply Analytics. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. I'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and best luck with your research.